had an awesome surprise today. We showed up and the framers have already started. We're going to talk to the framer real quick, get a rundown, make sure we're both on the same page. So we have the walls, the windows, some of the door changes that we're making. All that stuff is correct. Hey, my name is Aries Flores. I own A&M General Remodeling and we are uh, building this um, beautiful farmhouse uh, for this beautiful family. 50 by 56 rough in the okay. kitchen. Okay. Sink. So today is the next day after framing started and they totally knocked it out of the park. As you can see behind me, the walls are up. They got all the doors and windows um, set and located. The only thing we are waiting on and, and it did not show up, I guess it's on about a week back order, the builder was saying, is our floor system. And then once they get that system in, they can set it up top. And that's why we got all these cross bracing right here on the walls because there's nothing to actually i mean they're they're pretty much set square and straight and level but until they get the floor system on the top like right here then they really won't be able to tie the walls in like 100 percent fixed yet so hopefully the floor system shows up next week and hopefully next time you see this it will have the floor doors going in So they are done with the second story walls now and now they're actually cutting the first boards for the roof on the back side. So the roof is about to start up top there and that is really going to finish off the look. As you can see we got the first floor done, second floor walls are now up and now they're going to start with the peaks on the roof. Check it out. Boom. Actually, let me back up a little bit so you guys can see. So they got the center peak right there on that ridge line is ran, and then they got the cross ridge going on. So the only lines they have left on the roof is the, the shed style roofs on these two dormers right here. So it looks awesome. <laughs> Thank you.
So that is a wrap. The framing is completely done. The roof is wrapped and everything. Mm -hmm. You want to take them on tour? Yeah, let's All go right. check it out. How beautiful is that? So front door, entryway from the porch. Um, you step in, it's kind of like the entry living room um, type setup. So you'll walk in, you kind of have a hallway, breezeway area, go straight to the back door, and then the living room will be over here. And then as you walk into the kitchen area, you kind of cross the threshold right here, and then pretty much standing where the dining room table will be, kitchen will be behind me, there'll be an island right here, the back doors are straight ahead right there. See right here we got the uh, sink, and then again, God, how beautiful is that? That's just amazing. This will be a kitchen sink view. Uh, range will be right here. Island pretty much right where I'm standing. Um, so it'll be a little bit of a walk around where the dining room table will be and we'll have a chandelier hanging up here. But I think it's gonna work great. So let me flip you guys around and then we'll get into the living or the bedroom and upstairs area of the house. Straight ahead will be the pantry. A decent sized pantry, definitely bigger than anything we've ever had. And then you come in here to the hallway and then it's kind of opened up to the laundry room, a rear, or not a rear, but a side door exit off the laundry room. The fourth bedroom, this will be Walter's room. And it's, I think it's like a 11 by 12. So decent size. Uh, he'll have a closet as well. Have I showed you guys this view yet? Oh my God, it's so beautiful. All right, so we come out of Walter's room and he will have a full bath and this will be the downstairs guest bathroom as well. Back part of the downstairs, we come back into the living room and then this is the little hallway right here. As you can see, we have an under stairs closet and then this doorway right here goes into the master. So this is the master and it's, uh, it's about average size, size nothing crazy. Um, you go in here and this is the master bath so it'll have a double vanity um, stand-up shower and then you walk in you'll have a toilet little toilet nook closet and then you have your our closet right here and it's pretty you know if to us it's pretty big it's not giant but it's definitely the biggest closet we have now let's make our way upstairs so here's the upstairs um, and we're just going to leave this open with just like hopefully the inspector will let it pass having two and a half steps just exposed that way you can kind of turn the corner it makes it a little bit easier so we walk up the steps and up here is pretty much matching or mirroring bedrooms for the boys there's one bedroom on the left over here it also has a desk nook and a closet walk-in closet which is nice and then Wyatt's room is pretty much a mirrored image it's the same way um, so you come in here, closet, desk nook, and Wyatt, they both have huge windows with a view. In between these rooms, right beside the staircase coming up is a full bathroom. And then also we added, we didn't add, but we chose to leave this door in here. I know it's kind of weird, but we have a full walk-in um, attic storage right there in the back of the bathroom. So they'll have a double vanity right here tub toilet and then linen closet right here and then right in the center is the bonus room then off the bonus room is the office grandma friend sleepover suite but this other dormer is just opened up so this will be one long uh, playroom right here so we'll have the tv and stuff up here then right here will just be kind of a lounge sitting area and that sums up the complete post framing house tour. So everything is framed up and completely finished. So now we're gonna get started on all the utilities. But if you're still hanging out, thank you for watching the whole video. If you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. And we will see you guys on the next video when all the utilities get started. Mm -hmm.